All right, fam, we are officially in panic mode because it is one of my best friend's weddings. She lives in North Carolina, that's where I grew up. Her wedding is next weekend. And please ask me, have I even tried on a single dress? No. So what do I always do whenever I'm in a bind and I need a lot of options? I order an ungodly amount of things from Revolve. This is not sponsored by Revolve, but literally I love Revolve because they have such a huge selection at literally every single price point. And returns are so easy. I have never once had a problem with doing returns. So anytime I have a big trip, special occasion, something coming up, Revolve is where I order stuff from. So 15 dresses, $4,000 worth. I don't know if I'll be able to show them all to you because the video might be too long. So if that's the case, I'm just gonna show you the strong contenders and like maybe some of the embarrassingly bad ones just so like you can get a good laugh with me. But all dresses will be linked below in case you have a wedding coming up or maybe like a holiday party or something. Um, there should be something in here like for a lot of different occasions. It is going to be a cocktail wedding, but because it's December, I feel like long dresses are okay as long as it airs on the casual side. So we're going for casual and we are going for something that does not accentuate my food baby because I have like a perma food baby. So that's a thing, unfortunately. So. Let's get into the dresses and please comment below with your favorites. Love you so much. Thank you. And sorry about my double chin. All right. The first dress is the Nookie ooh, Trinity gown in the color Cherry. And I am not going to lie to you. I thought that this one might be like a contender, like in the running. It's the first one I tried. Um, but I thought it might be borderline too tight. And I'm so glad that I'm looking at it like now here on the phone because no, this is way too tight. You can see all of my organs, especially like after I would, you know, need to eat a meal. That would be even worse. I get a really bad food, baby. So, you know, and I've got like a bit of a lower belly pooch anyway, as I think we all do. So even though, oh, I actually really like the neckline of it and I really love the back. The back, I think, fits my body shape really well. I think, I think she's too tight, so she's gotta go. Okay, honestly, it's just very humbling to look at these things on a phone versus in person. So this is the Lovers and Friends Bermuda dress in what they call chartreuse green, but honestly, it reads as yellow to me. This just, for so many reasons, does not work. The, the bottom makes this a bit too formal, although I do like it. I think it's too formal for cocktail. I feel like I would need some type of shapewear here because right now I feel a bit lumpy. And then also, I'm showing you this because this is the story of my life. I do not have enough boobage to fill this out. I mean, story of my life. But I also want to know who does have breasts coming out, you know, directly of their armpits? Because I don't think many of you do. Like, I know my chest is small, but I don't think it's that small. So this one, oh, but wait, let me show you one thing, just because ugh, this is very nostalgic for a lot of us elder millennials. How to lose a guy in 10 days, anyone? Nostalgia, yes. So a lot of good things, but this just does not flatter my figure. This just makes me look wide. So I think this one's probably going to be a no. Okay. I feel like this one actually is not horrendous. And this one does feel very appropriate for cocktail attire. This is the Roxana dress by LPA and it's in the color blush. I think I would need to figure out a different bra situation and maybe get some shapewear because as you know, most women do, I've got hip dips and I don't know if that looks very good with ruching. Also, these dresses, by trying them on, I'm just feeling like I need to not eat for all of next week in order to... No, I have my little food pouch. Oh, that's so annoying. But no, I I do like the overall effect. I think this is very pretty. Um, I also like that it's one shoulder because I will say I could not do a puffy sleeve on both sides. I think that would make me feel a little too, a little too 80s. But overall, I think that this is really nice. Let me try and show you from the back. This one, I would say it's it's in consideration, right? Let's see what else we find. All right. Lovers and friends, Anna dress in yellow. So, surprisingly, I actually don't think this is too bad with some alterations. Also, I did not do up the buttons on the sleeve because buttons are a the nightmare of a woman with long nails. So whatever, I need someone else to do them. Um, I would need to get it taken up here and also a little bit in the back. I really don't know if you can see. Um, but I feel like with that could be better. My issue is right here. So here's the thing. Although I'm not a good dancer, your girl likes to dance, and I feel as though, oh, we are, we're very close from having, like, an inappropriate situation, um, 
in this dress. And so I feel like if I got it altered, I would like how it looked if I was standing all night, but like sitting, dancing, that feels like it would be a bit of an issue. But I feel like we're getting closer. I feel like the dresses are getting less horrible, maybe. I don't know. This, this is my life. Like no dresses ever fit me properly. So on to the next. Okay. Thank you, Norma Kamali, for making a dress that does not make me question my entire self-worth as a person. <laughs> this is finally one that I feel like I could wear and not look absolutely horrendous in. This is a really gorgeous strapless fishtail gown in this like hot pink, they call it orchid color. Now, the really interesting thing about this dress is that there is no zipper. It's essentially just like a stretchy little tube dress, which is totally fine, but like, do I want to spend $265 on a stretchy dress? Oh, don't get me wrong, $265 is not bad for like a wedding dress, but it's just like a stretchy tube dress, so I don't know. But so far, I would say out of all of them, this is my favorite. Obviously, she would need to be hemmed a little bit, but... Oh, thank God. Okay, at least, guys, we have we have something we can wear to the wedding. But hopefully we find something that makes me like, ee! Because this one also, it doesn't... It cannot eliminate my pooch, so I would love one that does. If I, if I do that, it's great. But I'd like to breathe. So let's keep going. I am so upset right now because I love so many things about this Norma Kamali Tara side drape dress. But we have a major issue. But first, let me just show you how gorgeous this is. Look, it is meant to go, you know, just off the shoulder. shows what teeny tiny baby bit of cleavage I have. It's got some ruching right here. I know you can't see it. It's got this little side situation. I think it makes my bum look nice. All good things, right? Like this would definitely be a contender, especially because I feel like this one's very cocktail appropriate. But we have a problem. First off, you know when you try on a dress and you put it on completely wrong and you just feel like such an imbecile? That will happen to you in this dress because I found out the hard way, there's a bodysuit inside of here. And that's actually a fantastic idea. But the trouble is that Norma, you made it a full coverage, you know, like a brief bottom. Women with big bums cannot wear full coverage underwear without like cutting the butt cheeks like in half. So now I've got like 9,000 butt cheeks and like my hips have been cut on top of my hip dips. And so with, I mean, I think the only solution I could do would be to cut the bodysuit out, but I don't know how much that would mess up the dress. And I'm, I'm assuming the bodysuit's there for a reason. So I love this one, but like, listen guys, I got one asset, this asset. <laughs> And I do not want to cut it up into like all these different visible panty lines. I hate VPLs. So I'm sad because this one, I was so excited about it until I figured out the bodysuit thing. Damn it. So I feel like strapless is my only friend today, which is strange because normally it's not. Um, but this is an NBD dress. It's called the Lucilda gown in I think like hot pink or something like that. Pretty, you know, standard run of the mill. Reminds me of the Norma Kamali one. So it's nice, you know, nothing too special. Almost looks a bit bridesmaidy in a way, other than the color. Meh, it's fine. Absolutely not. I look like an ace bandage. This is the Elliot Pippa dress. Hard pass. So this one's a no, but I'm showing you all because I actually think it's a really beautiful dress and I think it would definitely work for some of you all out here. So this is the Retro Feet stormy dress in black and i don't know if you can see it's got some really cute like little sheer cutouts here this is a gorgeous dress it doesn't work for me because the straps are too long here and also it dips down in the back and it dips down so far that for me my butt is exposed <laughs> But I think for you taller people out there, this would be a great option. And this would be something really nice that you could wear to any type of like black tie event. I mean, I think that this is really pretty. So even though it didn't work for me, I still wanted to show you guys because I really like it. Okay, so I actually really like this one. So this is like a Samba gown by Amanda Up Richard. And it's in this gorgeous like dark navy color, which they call Imperial. So... I really like this. I like that it's got the high neck and it kind of cuts out here because I'm a bit muscular up here and certain things can make me look bigger. And this one I feel like doesn't accentuate it like too much. Like I feel like it complements the shape of like my boulder shoulders 
well in a way. And I like that it's got, you know, this very light ruching across the front. Even though like it is adding volume, I feel like I'll feel like really comfortable if I'm eating dinner and stuff. Like I won't feel like I need to suck in. Also, how do we feel about that? But is that too much? Like that, that is quite, quite the slit, but I could always just put a little bit of fashion tape right here. So we make sure to have any type of exposure moment. I don't know guys, I really like this one. I feel like this is probably the best one so far. Let me show you the back. Um, it's got an open back, but not too open. My bum's not out in this one, which is good. The only trouble is that, um, <laughs> again, because of long nails, I could not um, close up the back. It's got like hook and eye closures. It's got two. So um, if you have long nails and you'd have to be getting ready by yourself, this one might not work, but I just put a hair tie on it and I'm sure I will have some friends with me who can tie me up. But so far, I think this is my favorite one. I don't feel too constricted. I don't feel like it makes me look like I'm a thousand pounds. So I feel like this is the front runner for me so far. But you guys tell me what you think. I mean, you all might like some of the ones that we've seen already. I don't know. So let me know. All right. So this is an interesting one. This is, uh, it's called the Amina Dress, and it's by a brand I don't know called Seroya, Seroye. Here's the thing. I love so much about it. It's in this beautiful, like, dark olive green. They call it Fort Green. The trouble is that the chest is too big, but I wonder, I feel like they could take in the darts right here, and I feel like it could fit, because other than that, I love the rest of the dress. I mean, obviously, I would have to get this one taken up a little bit. But, like, I mean, the back is just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know. Is that, is it too much of an alteration job? Am I too close to, like, indecent exposure? Or do we think it's worth, like, giving it a go and, like, asking a tailor to see what they could do with this one? I don't know. But, like, the blue one didn't need all that. The blue one just probably needed a little bit of the fishtail shortened. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, this one's too tight. <laughs> Shocker. I feel like I now need to uh, invest in a pair of Spanx. I feel like that time in my life has come. This is a Sophia midi dress by More to Come. I know obviously this part is too tight, but I just want to show you. I feel like if the top was steamed, this would actually be really cute on a lot of people. And I wanted to show you this one because this dress was actually only $80. So in case you're looking for a more like budget friendly option for a dress for something going on, this could be a really good one. It's just <laughs> too tight for me. <sighs> Unfortunately, <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Tell me what y'all think down in the comments below. I think I need to keep looking. There were a couple decent options in there, like the, the navy Amanda Uppertured, the two Norma Kamalis, maybe that olive green dress with a lot of alterations. But honestly, I don't really have time to get all those alterations done. So I'm going to keep looking. But in the meantime, you all, please tell me what you think of these. If there were any standouts that you really like that I just totally skipped over and x -nade, let me know because I'd be happy to keep one of these if y'all think they're cute. If you support my decision in continuing to shop because they all look like garbage, definitely comment that down below so I know I'm not crazy. But thank you for sticking with me through this uh, emotional abuse that is trying on dresses. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, give a little thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that we can get all my content about all things shopping delivered straight to you. Thanks for watching. I'm upset and I'm going to have a glass of wine now. See you next time. Bye, everyone.